You catch every F1 race, you've binged watched Drive to Survive, and you're looking to jump into a modern day F1 car and give it a skid in sim. Luckily, you're spoiled for choice. There are five great sim racing games that have a 2022 F1 car ready to go. And today we're gonna to be doing a quick skid in each one and figuring out which one's the best. So I'll be counting down the top five 2022 F1 cars currently available in sim racing. And there are a few differences between each one. If you think we missed a sim or if there's something on this list that maybe shouldn't be, definitely let us know in the comments. And if you think we nailed it, give us a like. Starting with the fifth best F1 car from 2022 and it's from Race Room called the Formula Race Room X22. It's got different tire compounds, customizable engine and ERS maps, and it's a really nice car to drive. Race Room always flies under the radar as a sim, but their content is actually fairly good. So let's give it a lap. Okay, so I'm starting a lap in race room in the Formula X 2022. And first thing I've noticed playing race room is the braking is a little bit more difficult than the other games. It's quite quite tricky to um, find the right pressure, I find. But uh, yeah, I feel like Race Room's often the forgotten game when it comes to sim racing games, and I'm glad to see they've got a pretty good F1 car in here. It's actually a, quite a new scan of Red Bull Ring as well. They've got the MotoGP section as well, which is really cool. Um, but this car drives kind of nice. It's got a tiny bit of porpoising. Nothing too crazy though. And you can see that Race Room, I, I don't think the lighting is quite as good as some other sims. You can see it's running on a bit of an older engine, but it still drives super fun and it's... I almost feel like this is the more um, easy to get into F1 car out of the sims. Like, it's very predictable. Let's see what the lap time is. Uh, 1 minute 11, so I'm not as fast as the other games, but um, honestly, this car's really fun. I feel like maybe it's, I, I recommend it as maybe if you're struggling with an F car, F1 car in another game, this is maybe one to learn. Um, but yeah, honestly, it's simple, it's fairly economical to buy, and it's just really fun to drive. Um, it's a thumbs up. I think it's pretty good. It's not as good as the Assetto Corsa car, I think, but uh, it's still still really fun. Next is the fourth best current day F1 car, and it's from Automobilista 2, where it's called the Formula Ultimate Gen 2. Honestly, AMS2 is a really great sim with a ton of really cool classes, and this version of the 2022 F1 car is a lot of fun to drive. So let's do a lap. All right, I'm starting a lap in Automobilista 2 in the Formula Ultimate 2, I'm pretty sure is what it's called. Uh, it's a free car in Automobilista if you buy Automobilista 2. So let's give it a go. My couple of warm-up laps. This version of Red Bull Ring feels a little bit different to the other ones. The curves are slightly different, but this car feels very similar to the Assetto Corsa mod that I've been driving. Um, very similar in the way it feels on throttle. Like it's very, um, it snaps really quickly. Um, so you have to be kind of on your toes to catch it. But also, well, you can really feel the aero load up the car. I love the feeling of the sim at a high speed. I felt it in the champ car kind of cart um, update they did, and it feels the same in this. Like through this section, the car feels feels really heavy in the steering as the aero is pushing you down to the ground. Final couple of corners. Probably could have taken more there. All right, and that lap is a 107.7. Um, so yeah, good lap. Honestly, Automobilista 2 I love as a sim. Uh, I think it's it looks beautiful. The cars are generally really fun to drive, and I think it's a really good selection of cars. And this F1 car is honestly great. I could spend hours driving this and not get bored, so definitely rate it. Number three on this list is from F122. And while some people may disagree, I actually think it's a really fun sim to play. F122 is still the most accurate simulation of Formula One 
as a whole thing that I think is out there. It's got all the cars, the tracks, and the rules from the 2022 season. The physics are a little funky at times, but if you ignore that, it's a lot of good fun. So let's do a lap. Okay, I'm about to do a lap in the actual F1 official racing game, F1 22. Uh, and we're in the Red Bull, driven by the champ, Max Verstappen. And let's do a lap. The first thing that I will say about F1 22 is that it looks stunning, but you can just drive over curbs. Like this curb, you can just go like, we. And uh, it's like it doesn't exist, which is kind of great. Um, it, this car, I think, has weird grip in kind of weird ways. For example, yeah, the curb thing. You can just smash some curbs. Um, but also it's really... It's really kind of twitchy on throttle. I find it's really hard to put the throttle down compared to some other sims. Some other sims I actually find it easier to put the throttle down than um, in F122. So it's weird, like it's it's hard on throttle, but it'll take curbs like a champ. Um, but I will say it's really fun and like the force feedback isn't terrible in this game. It's kind of nice. Um, if you're looking for the official F1 experience with fully licensed tracks with all the right sponsors, and all the updated cars and liveries and everything. This game is like, it's really good. Like F122 will do all of that. And the driving physics are, they're, they're close enough. I think they're, they could be better in some ways, um, but I don't think it's bad. I think it's quite fun to drive. And um, as long as you're getting a challenge out of it, I think this is definitely worth playing. So. It's, it's good and it's, it's, it's got all the officially licensed content, which is great. My second best F1 car from 2022 is from Assetto Corsa and it's a mod by Virtual Racing Cars called the Formula Alpha 2022. This car is awesome and it's the only car in this list to noticeably and annoyingly porpoise down every straight. The car is snappy but very catchable. It's something that beginners can get into but for the more experienced drivers, your talent can really shine through in this car. Let's give it a quick skid. All right, so we're coming to start our lap in Assetto Corsa. This is a wonderful mod made by Virtual Racing Cars. It is the Formula Alpha 2022. And the first thing I've noticed when driving this car is that it porpoises like crazy. It porpoises so much, like it comes through the wheel as well. So the false feedback's shaking like crazy and your vision's going wild. It's really, really cool. It's also really sketchy on the brakes, especially into these heavy stops. Um, it's really easy to lose the car under brakes, lock a rear, rear, rear axle and kind of lose it off the road. Kind of missed the apex there, but got away with it. Um, and you can slide this car as well. You, you've probably seen me a, a little bit scary on exits but it's, it's very catchable, I feel. It's kind of predictable as it slides. Um, Assetto Course is a great game for mods. You can feel the, the aero load up on the steering wheel as well. It's really cool. And there you go, that's a lap of Red Bull Ring in the Formula Alpha 2022. It's a 109.9. What? Um, <laughs> Honestly, my opinions on the Assetto Corsa mod, uh, the pros is the porpoising, it's incredible and um, feels really predictable in, in the slide. Um, the cons, I don't know how this will feel on maybe a non-direct drive wheel, if you have a, a less strong wheel, maybe like a, a G29 or something like that, maybe it won't feel as good through the wheel. Um, but honestly, this is a great mod. It's really cheap. It's like four four dollars or something. So definitely thumbs up. Now it's time for my favorite 2022 F1 car to be released, and this one's from iRacing. The Mercedes W13 is officially licensed from the F1 team, and it was actually built with data handed over by the team themselves. It's incredibly tricky to drive, but it is super rewarding. I personally love it, so let's do a quick lap. Okay, I'm starting a lap in iRacing in the Mercedes W13. The modern day 2022 F1 car in iRacing. So first thing about iRacing is that it's 
quite difficult to drive. That corner there killed me like 10 times in practice. But um, this car is actually, it's a really interesting car in iRacing because it is, it has been designed with help from the actual Mercedes F1 team itself. Um, from, what I, from what I've heard, um, the F1 team themselves have been involved in the development, giving over like information about the car and data and stuff like that. And a lot of the Mercedes F1 team themselves actually drive this car in sim. They have like a little kind of esports racing league themselves, which is kind of cute. But it means that this car is probably the most, with the most accurate data from a real world F1 team. And it drives really interestingly. It's, uh, it's generally a little understeery, but it's super grippy and I don't know, it feels planted. It's a really fun car to drive and look, I'm an iRacing fangirl, but honestly, this is probably my favorite. I, I think it's, the way it drives is scary at all times, um, as you can see. But honestly, uh, it's very fun. I think it's my favorite F1 car in a sim but it is by far the most difficult, potentially too difficult. And um, if you're struggling to get used to a sim racing game, to get used to a wheel and a screen and headphones, and you know, you're struggling to get used to the sim, um, maybe steer away from iRacing. It's a little bit, it's almost too difficult, I think. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun. So those are my top five current day F1 cars that you can play in sim today. Do you agree with the list? Is there something that we missed? Maybe our factor too. <laughs> if there's anything else, let us know in the comments. Otherwise, if you like the video, give us a like and subscribe for more sim racing videos. We're creating videos all the time on Overtake. So give us a subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>